Everyone is constantly trying to tell you what strategy is good, what strategy is bad, and you're watching this video because you want to know a strategy that has verified results that you're able to learn as a beginner and that can help you become profitable. Now, without further ado, let's talk about the three things you need to know before you watch this video. Three things we need to discuss before we actually get started with this video. Number one, you won't become profitable overnight. Now, the whole reason I'm telling you guys this is because when I was a beginner, I would watch a video on a strategy, I would lose a trade with it, and then I would immediately jump to another strategy, which brings us to number two. Don't bounce around in your strategy. Stick to one strategy that you know is profitable, you've seen other people use it, and be able to back test it and just stick through it. Don't be the trader that's bunny hopping from support and resistance to supply and demand to ICT concept to SMC to order blocks to fair value. Yet all these different things stick to one thing that works for you and that's it. Do not jump around because that's the biggest mistake a lot of you people watching this video probably already make. And then number three, give yourself a fair chance. Don't set unrealistic goals like trying to make a million dollars in one year in your first year of trading. Don't give yourself a timeline for success. I promise you trading is going to take off when you least expect it, when all you're focused on is on your craft and not the amount of money you're making. This whiteboard is useless. The strategy I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is called order blocks. Now what are order blocks? Order blocks are basically institutional buying and selling that causes smart money reversals. So basically big banks and institutions were looking to see where they're buying where they're selling so we could catch a reversal at a certain point but i found the most profit with order blocks and reversals, so i'm going to teach that to you today right now so what you see on my screen is a pdf that i made to help you guys understand what order blocks are and i'm trying to break it down in the simplest way possible so what is an order block an order block is an area of institutional buying and selling which triggers a smart money reversal. So there's two types of order blocks. There's a bullish order block and a bearish order block. A bullish order block is the red candle right before a large move up. And a bearish order block is the green candle right before a large move down. And in this example here, you can see a red candle right before a large move up. And here you see a green candle right before a large move down. Now, when you're looking at these moves up and down, you're looking for moves that look like they are made by banks. So what do I mean by that? So here I have a chart pulled up. When I say look at moves that only banks can make, I'm talking about moves like this. Large candles, small wicks, and very aggressive moves. And then the same thing for the downside over here. This is where you're looking for order blocks to be formed. Quick example, right here, this move is a very large move. We have an order block here that we rejected and continued lower. Right before this move higher, we had an order block formed right here. And you can see we used that as a support area and we reversed off of it. Continuing on, what makes a high probability order block? Now, there's gonna be order blocks that are low probability and there's gonna be order blocks that are high probability. You could trade both, but it's best that I only teach you how to trade the high probability ones so you don't go out making mistakes and blaming it on me. The highest probability order blocks will have candles that have a large body and small wicks. So here's an example. On a bearish order block, bearish order blocks are made off of green candles, bullish are made off of red. So a bearish order block with a strong one would have a candle that looks like this, large body with small wicks. A bullish one would look like this, large body with small wicks. This is how you know that those order blocks are higher probability. If they have long wicks and very small bodies, I promise you it's not even worth taking that order block for the most part because it's a lower probability order block. Moving on, there is a checklist when it comes to trading order blocks. Do you have a liquidity sweep? Do you have a liquidity sweep? And is the market displacing in the opposite direction? Now, here's an example. We have a sweep of a previous low. Now, if you need help learning about liquidity and other things, join the free Telegram group because I've gone it over it in there. And I'll be making a separate video on liquidity sweeps and previous highs and lows in the future. But you can see here our previous low was swept. We formed an order block before a large move up. Market was displacing, meaning it was leaving fair value gaps and it was making large candle moves to the upside. And you can see what we pulled in. We saw an immediate reaction and bounced. Now, this example was used from last week where the market retraced into the order block off open and rallied the remainder of the day. We formed an order block, market pulled into it, immediate reaction, and we were actually able to catch this play for completely free inside the free telegram. 
I posted my entry, stop loss, and exit. And if you want to learn for completely free, click the first link in my bio and you'll be able to join the free telegram where I teach you guys all these things and give you free alerts to help you guys out. Overall, order blocks are very simple to use when you break it down in its essence. They take a while to learn. If you guys want to see me go more in depth on order blocks themselves, then click the second link because I posted a very in-depth video on how to trade order blocks and you guys should watch that to further your understanding. But also I want you guys to be successful so I want you guys to watch that other video as well because it will help you and go way more in-depth. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys drop a like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.